Simon, uh, we just come off the commercial real estate panel. I um, just wanted to summarise some of the things that we discussed. I mean, one of the things we were talking about was the refinancing wall in terms of commercial real estate financing. I mean, how big do you think that wall is and how uh, difficult do you think it's going to be to, uh, to refinance that debt? It's, it's very big. Banks are deleveraging by, some say, between 400 and 700 billion in, in real estate over the next, admittedly, four or five years and beyond. The alternative capital providers, yes, they're there, but how much dry powder do they have and how are they going to spend it? They'll be picky and choosy as to the investments they make in debt, and they'll also invest in different part, you know, bespoke, in a bespoke fashion in different parts of the capital structure. I don't think we can expect those providers to ride to the rescue. Banks are withdrawing, and I, I can't see all of that debt being, uh, being refinanced. We're going to see more restructurings, more enforcements, um, and we, are, we don't expect this to, to be something that is resolved within two or three years. Uh, it's three to five years and, and beyond. You know. um, so I, mean, I know you do a lot of work for services on CMBS transactions and we have a lot of uh, CMBS loans coming due uh, next year, about the peak's about 22 mm. billion next year. Are you seeing services becoming more proactive now in terms of how they look at uh, these loans as they go into special servicing? Uh, I, I think they are because there's, there's a recognition that their options are narrowing over time. As the loans uh, that, that mature are, are nearer to legal final maturity, um, there needs to be an outcome for, for the note holders. And some of these loans have already been extended once. Um, and they've probably been extended close to, if, if not even slightly, within the tail period for the, uh, for the notes. And so in those situations, I think there will be less, less patience demonstrated by the services. Um, they, they always have to be cognizant of the interests of, of all their constituents, which is a difficult balancing act to strike. But I think they, um, helped by certain deals and precedents in the market, I think they, uh, such as the Union Vest uh, you know, resolution, uh, which arguably is, is favorable to the, the AAAs uh, in terms of the way that unfolded, I think we will see more um, uh, more enforcement. Uh, we will see more a active uh, asset management, uh, perhaps replacement of asset managers or even the services exercising on a temporary basis uh, asset management of a, a portfolio. Um, and and uh, yeah, less of a wait and see and let's hope the, mar the market isn't going to come back and save these deals. I think that's what we've seen. That's the conclusion that we can draw from the last two or three years, which is on top of already a couple of years of, of prices.